Welcome to the latest episode of Wealth Uncensored. Today, I want to talk about overly complex asset protection structures. Some structures being sold today are overly complex for what the client actually needs. I believe that you should have no more asset protection than what you actually need. Most advisors and corporate service providers want to sell overly complex structures because they can make more money on the setup and ongoing costs. It's not because they think this overly complex structure is what's best for you. Because the more entities and the more complexity, the more fees. Many advisors try to sell clients extremely complex wealth protection structures involving entities across several countries, citing their superior asset protection over simpler structures. Welcome to the Wealth Uncensored Podcast. Straight talk about everything that impacts your wealth. In each episode, I share what I've learned through my own experience and two decades of helping high net worth clients structure their affairs to minimize taxes and protect their assets for the next generation. I'll also feature special guests who are experts in their own field, sharing their knowledge and experience to help you protect what's yours. I'm your host, Jimmy Sexton. Let's dive into today's show. While it's true that often these structures do provide superior asset protection, the question is, is that level of asset protection actually needed by the client? Look, if you've been living life and doing business for decades and haven't ever needed asset protection, then probably not. Unless you're at a high risk of being sued or divorced or something like that, you probably don't need a super complex asset protection structure. In my opinion, when I advise clients on asset protection and estate planning, it's important to focus on simplicity, efficiency, and the relevancy to the client's specific needs. You shouldn't implement more asset protection than what you actually need. And here's why. First, cost. The more complex the structure, the more significant initial investment, including legal fees, accounting fees, and setup costs are going to be involved in setting up the structure. You need to consider whether these costs are justified by the benefit. Secondly, the ongoing maintenance fees. The more complex the structure, the more entities, the more administrative burdens, the more costs are going to be. This includes annual fees for maintaining trusts, companies, and other types of entities, as well as professional fees, legal fees, tax return preparation fees, compliance fees. There's a lot of costs that go into this. Then we have to think about the administrative burden. If you have a large complex structure, it's going to be very time consuming to manage multiple entities and make sure that they're complying with the various regulatory environments. You may find yourself overwhelmed by the paperwork and administrative tasks to keep this thing going. And then you have the operational complexity, keeping track of the operations of each entity, making sure all the documentation for that entity is properly done. And avoiding administrative errors, errors becomes more of a challenge with the more complex the structure is. And then you have the potential for errors. The more complex the structure is, the higher the risk of making a mistake is, the greater chance that there are of incurring some sort of penalties, fines, or legal issues because of an inadvertent mistake due to the complexity of the structure. You also have a potentially increased audit risk. A more complex structure can attract the scrutiny of tax authorities. You also potentially have reduced flexibility in difficulty making changes. Complex structures are often less flexible and harder to change. If your circumstances or goals change, modifying or dismantling the structure could be complicated and quite expensive. And then you also might have difficulty accessing assets. You may find it difficult to access your own assets when needed due to the rigid nature of a complex structure. And then many clients just don't need overly complex structures. Over engineering an, an overly complex structure can lead to confusion and misunderstandings about how your assets are going to be managed and protected, and it may not be what you want. I've seen so many clients set up structures that they were convinced were great structures, and maybe they were, but the client didn't understand it. How helpful is that if you don't even understand how your structure works and how you need to operate it? Which means that your structure might not be aligned with your goals. 
It's very important to ensure that whatever structure you set up aligns with your needs and goals. Overly complex structures may not provide the additional benefits that you believe they do in comparison to simpler alternatives. In my opinion, it's best to focus on core objectives. We want simple structures that are easy to understand and manage, but also provide the necessary asset protection, estate planning, and privacy that you want. Because simpler structures that are easier to understand and manage allow you to stay focused on your core objectives without being distracted by the unnecessary complications of an overly complex structure. Often simpler solutions can provide effective asset protection and estate planning without the need for super elaborate structures. Another issue to consider with overly complex structures is jurisdictional issues. If the structure involves multiple jurisdictions, it can often lead to conflicts of laws complicating legal and tax compliance. So whenever you're looking at hiring an advisor to help you set up a wealth protection structure, it's always important to build trust and make sure that the advisor is transparent. It's important to emphasize the importance of transparency with the advisor and the client relationships. You should be wary of advisors who push complexity without clear justification. And each client's situation is unique. The best advice is tailored to your specific needs, circumstances, and goals rather than a one-size-fits-all complex solution. So if you have somebody who's trying to push a product on you or push a specific jurisdiction because that's where they work, be weary of this. You want advice that's tailored to your needs and it should be a focus on simplicity rather than complexity. No more asset protection than you need. I hope you found this episode informational. Make sure to stay tuned for future episodes. Thank you. Thank you for joining me on Wealth Uncensored, where we help you minimize taxes and protect your wealth for the next generation. If you like our show, be sure to subscribe and leave a review. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, we'd love to hear from you. You can email us at info at esquiregroup.com. And don't forget to visit Esquire Group's website for more information on how we can help you secure your wealth. I'll be dropping knowledge again next week. Don't forget to join us.